Muchas gracias. Thank you very much, President. My government would like to thank Professor Anaya for presenting his report. Its addendum 8 refers to the visit that he carried out uh, to my country, Peru, between the 17th and the 19th of June of this year, a visit carried out at the invitation of the Peruvian government. The visit was carried out as part of the open uh, invitation extended by Peru as part of the uh, Council's special procedures, all founded on our uh, commitment as a state to promote and protect uh, human rights and fundamental freedoms. My government has received this report with a very constructive spirit, and that's why it's a document which is now being reviewed with uh, great seriousness as uh, will be proved by the significant steps forward which we've taken and which I'll tell you about in a moment. The uh, regrettable events uh, of Bagua on the 5th of June uh, did result in the death of 33 persons, 23 of them police officers and 10 civilians. These were events which uh, became well known throughout the world and they led to uh, statements to... Uh, urgent calls and uh, they certainly led to greater confusion and uh, to more greatly polarized positions. In this context, some accuse the government in Peru of having committed a massacre, including extrajudicial killings, hundreds of disappeared persons, and it was claimed that mass graves existed. Some others uh, said that uh, what had occurred was genocide. The rapporteur's report uh, does cast a true light on all of these accusations. Uh, reading the report and listening, in fact, to the statements made uh, by the rapporteur to the press, uh, it is clear that what happened was nothing even close to a genocide or a gross violation of human rights of indigenous persons or that uh, enforced disappearances had occurred or indeed any other uh, such serious violation of human rights. The Special Rapporteur in paragraph 25 of his report says, and I quote, that there was no concrete evidence found, nor were any specific witnesses listened to on uh, at deaths over and above the confirmed deaths. There was no concrete evidence found on the existence of mass graves, as had been publicly announced. In this same regard, the Ombudsman uh, of Peru, a national institution uh, under the Paris Principles, issued a report on uh, the Bagua events, which uh, includes all of the outcome uh, of all the work that it has done out in the field. It is a report which uh, uh, found the same number of dead persons and also concluded that there were no uh, disappear no disappearances whether amongst uh, civilians or indigenous persons as a result of uh, the above events the uh, only um, person who disappeared was the police officer Felipe Bazan Solis in relation uh, to what is said in paragraph 27 of the report on the uh, alleged disappearance of Mr Wasum Kasem the ombudsman found uh, in relation to the publication of the report of the special report, that uh, this is somebody who uh, continues to live within his community. President, Peru is very proud to be a democratic state, a, st uh, a state where there is the full rule of law and uh, where human rights and fundamental freedoms are fully in force. Within this framework, my government has the constitutional obligation to uh, preserve public order and protect and promote the human rights of all Peruvians. And it is part of these constitutional, this constitutional mandate that the national police initiated um, actions in Bagua uh, in order to restore public order and allow for the free movement of persons and goods to avoid... Uh, 
um, scarcity of supply, threats to health, and in general a situation which uh, jeopardized and put at risk the lives of thousands of uh, Peruvian people. My delegation agrees with the assessment of the relator relating to the complexity of the basic events underlying violence uh, generated in Bagua. And it's precisely with the aim of tackling these root causes that the government of Peru has always been willing to uh, open a dialogue in order to find a peaceful solution. Uh, proof of this are the uh, um, several di mechanisms of dialogue which were set up before the 5th of June in order to find a solution to the appropriate claims made by indigenous peoples. Um, in order activities which we've uh, initiated in order to find a comprehensive solution. And uh, in this regard, the conclusions and recommendations made by the Special Rapporteur uh, provide useful guidance. Within this spirit, my government has established the National, group for co the National Coordination Group for the Development of the Peoples of the Amazon, made up by four representatives uh, from the executive, the regional presidents of the uh, departments of the Amazon, and TES representatives of the indigenous peoples from this area. Such group, uh, this group has established, has set up four um, working groups. Uh, making up an uh, independent commission to investigate the uh, events in Bagua, to discuss and uh, put forward solutions relating to the uh, standards, the regulations which are um, a matter of concern for indigenous peoples, and uh, um, perfecting consultation mechanisms with indigenous peoples in, a, in a compliance with international obligations uh, that the state has undertaken, particularly Convention 169 of the ILO, and also drafting a national proposal for development in the Am Am Amazon. And these working groups have had significant successes. On the 2nd of September, representatives of the central government, the regional governments, and representatives of indigenous peoples from the Amazon region named uh, seven independent uh, people, including representatives of indigenous peoples, to uh, carry out an impartial investigation into events in Bagua and to uh, submit a report next December. In parallel and independently, the investigations uh, continue within uh, the judiciary, as is proper in uh, where there is rule of law. And this will establish the responsibility for the deaths of the 10 civilians and the 23 police officers, including those who were brutally uh, tortured and uh, assassinated in uh, Station 6 of the um, North Peruvian oil pipeline. At the same time, the Congress of the Republic has established a special commission to investigate these uh, events. Furthermore, the state has uh, provided legal support uh, for everyone who is, has had proceedings brought against them as uh, a result of the Bagua events in order to guarantee citizens' rights. The independence of powers is uh, the cornerstone of the rule of law. The Peruvian state uh, in recent uh, past has given ample proof of the independence of its judicial system. And in this regard, my government has um, passed on to the relevant institutions the recommendations of the Special Rapporteur to revise the criminal charges brought against indigenous leaders. In this regard, and in fact, the, judi the judiciary has ruled in favor of uh, some uh, appeals uh, in order to change detention orders of some indigenous leaders. A lo largo de este... Throughout this report, the Special Rapporteur recognizes that the government of Peru has taken significant steps forward to uh, set up a dialogue with indigenous peoples affected and has made significant steps forward to solve uh, the substantive problems affecting indigenous peoples. And uh, Professor Anaya's uh, uh, report is a positive assessment of the attitude and decisions taken by the government. Before this council, we would like to uh, re-emphasize all of the measures that we have taken and to say that uh, it's, this is all part of a firm commitment to make a radical change uh, to the situation with the participation of indigenous peoples and through dialogue. 
This uh, is a very firm commitment made by uh, Peru, and it can be seen in the adoption of the uh, UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. Uh, be sure, President, that my government will continue to work along these lines because we are convinced that it's the only way to guarantee the permanence of the democracy and the existence uh, of a plural and inclusive state.